hello guys good day to you so i am doing this tutorial to um help out guys that have spent so much time um creating an app and they find out that the test ad shows when they run it on their emulator but when they install the app on a device it doesn't google ads does not show so i'm just going to open this app quickly just a demo app um Okay, great. So this app, I enabled Google AdMob on it, but as you can see, Google AdMob does not um, show on the ad on the app. So if I click on just any of the tabs, it opens, but there's no advert on it. So, um, but I found out that when I run this same app on an emulator on my computer, test ads were displaying. Okay, so basically, this tutorial is for you if you somehow have set up your Google AdMob on an app and it doesn't display when you test it on a device. So first off, the, um, here are the things you need. You need to install Aptotide. It's like an app store. So I'm just going to open my Chrome browser and okay, so I'm, I'm in Google Chrome on my mobile device and I'm, I'm going to search for download app to type app store and this is it here right here the first um, result on the search tab so open it up and download the app to type app store okay so it's like google play store essentially you can get apps from it now when you download i'm just going to leave this page because i really don't know why the internet is slow um, Okay, so when you download the app to type app store, I have it right here on the top right of my phone. Click on it to open it up and search for APK Editor Pro. So I'm just going to search. There's a search um, icon at the lower part of the application. So I'm going to click on the search icon and I'm going to search for APK. Oh, sorry about this. So I'm going to search for APK, APK Editor Pro. Yeah. So what you need to do is to is to click on the APK Editor Pro. Okay. So the first, the very first one, APK Editor Pro. Just click on it to install it on your phone. Okay. I already have it installed on my phone, so I'm just going to open it up. So open the APK editor after it has installed and you should see a screen like this the first thing you want to do is you this looks a bit a bit, a bit different but the first thing you want to do is to is to go to the settings so this settings icon at the top right I'll, I'll click on it and scroll down until you get to sign with APK sign APK with this option right here just the second option after apk building tab so i'm going to click on sign with apk and set normally if you just install it it will be set to test key right so if you click on it it will be something like this set it to key created by apk editor click on it and then i'm just going to confirm okay so it's set okay so press back and what you want to do right now is you want to select an apk from an app that's already installed so i'm assuming you already have the app installed on your phone but if you don't have the app installed on your phone you just have the apk file you can click on select an apk file but i, I think it's it's smarter for you to have the app installed on your phone so you can test it okay so i'll click on select apk from app and what happens is it shows me a list of apps that are installed on my phone okay so i'm just going to look for the app in question so just a minute let me go okay so this is the app i need to work on so i'm just going to select it and there are a variety of options here but with what you want to select is full edit so i'm going to select full edit in brackets resource rebuild so select that and in this section you want to you want to select patch all files rather so i'm going to click on all files okay and okay so now next what you want to do is um, just below the app 
the name of the and the app icon there is this plus um, button and English click on that and it will show you a list of the languages so I'm just going to select the same English okay and this you notice something changed I now get this other option that says build just on the top right part of the user interface what I want to click on next is build so I'm just going to click on build and it rebuilds the application now what happens in the background is that it goes through your code um, for in your application and finds out the part of the code that is preventing the ad from displaying okay so essentially it optimizes your app for ad display so just give it a few seconds and it should be done By the way, I'm going to put a link in the description to your to download the Appetite App Store, so you can just look in the description. And um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll be making more interesting tech videos from now, and I think you would really benefit if you subscribe. So please go ahead and subscribe. Thank you. okay so um the process is complete now what you want to do next is you um well what is displayed on this screen now is succeed and then it gives you the location of the apk right so now what you need to do next is uninstall the previous version of the app the one that um doesn't display ads so i'm just going to click on this and uninstall it yes i want to uninstall great so um it has uninstalled now go back to your apk editor okay it's right there and then click on install so i'm just going to install this newly signed apk editor so i'm going to install it and yes install so having installed the app on my phone um i'm going to open it up just to see so as you can see google ads display right here on on the bottom of the application so let me just try to interact with the app a little to, to see if the interstitial ads work so i'll click on this um, okay yeah so the interstitial ads also work so i'm going to close this because clicking on your ads is against google policy so basically that's what you have here um thank you for watching this tutorial don't forget to subscribe and see you in another video.